The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obasaki of the People's Democratic Party, will face his major contender from the All Progressive Congress, Osage Izeyamu, in the September 19 governorship election in the state. This follows the withdrawal of all the three governorship aspirants of the PDP, which paved the way for the emergence of Obasaki. He became the lone aspirant for the race after ratification by party delegates following the withdrawal of his main rival, Kenneth Imaswagbo. However, the sorting of votes is still ongoing as at 11 p.m. in the PDP primaries, supervised by the Bochi state governor, Bala Mohammed, and his Zamfara and Oyo state counterparts, Bello Matawale and Sheyi Makende, respectively. Earlier in the week, two other aspirants, Oborege Ogbeide Ihama and Gideon Ekine, also stepped down for Obasaki. Imaso Agmo said he stepped down because of his desire to build a strong and united PDP in the state, adding that though it was a painful decision for him and his supporters across the state and beyond, he refused to be a spanner in the clog of the party. Meanwhile, the board of trustees of the party has congratulated Obasaki. Joining us now is political analyst Jide Ojo. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. How the tides have changed. Uh, last year, Obasaki was in another platform. This year, he's in another platform, facing another, the same contender from last year. But the switch has occurred. What's your take on all of the, uh, you know, politicking going on in Edo State? Well, thanks uh, for the opportunity to speak to Nigerians and Africans on this platform. Uh, the nature and character of politics in Nigeria and Africa is what you see uh, in demonstration. In 2016, it was Eze Yamu that contested under the platform of PDP. In 2020, it's now uh, Godwin Obaseki. So power has changed that in a sense. But it is not totally unexpected. These are two gladiators. They are familiar foes. And we wait with better bet till September 19, 2020, when we will know who will be the next occupant of uh, Osadebe House in Bini City. How worried are you about the, uh, I mean, what we will have to contend with between now and September 19, particularly when it comes to the security of lives and property? Incidentally, uh, Edo has recorded a significant increase in incidences of insecurity. Recall that a court of appeal justice was kidnapped on the streets of Edo. Likewise, several other security breaches. But uh, with the campaigns on now, uh, we do hope that the two dominant parties will play by the rules, will observe all the due uh, process, ensuring that they do not sponsor violence during the campaigns. It's not only physical and psychological violence that we should preach against, even in terms of being sensitive and taking responsibility for public health. Recall that this election will be taking place in the midst of COVID-19. And we pray that public health will not be endangered arising from the campaigns and the election in Edo State. Let's take another quick look at what happened with the PDP. We saw some aspirants go to court vehemently saying they will not, you know, uh, give way to Obasaki. But at the very last minute, we see all of them withdraw. Uh, what is your thinking with this development? That is politics Nigeriana. Uh, I can tell you for free that nothing goes for nothing. A lot of water has gone under the bridge. Recall that uh, Governor Wiki of uh, Rivers said some of the PDP leaders are tax collectors. That is a very pregnant word to use. Even though the party leadership, the PDP party leadership has debunked that. But you can be rest assured that the three candidates who stepped down for Governor Godwin or Baseki, uh, even though they are claiming 
that they did it of their own volition. They want to help to end Godfatherism in Edo State. Uh, the rest are sure that there are some horse trading that possibly have taken place behind the scenes. Does it worry you that in a multi-party system uh, like we have in Nigeria, we are only talking about the PDP and the APC in the Edo State governorship election? Uh, where are all the other parties? Where are all the other candidates? Well, the media is the one that is driving the agenda. Uh, a female governorship candidate emerged under the platform of AAC. And I think that female candidate should have been celebrated, should have been interviewed to ask for an agenda for Edo State. But you see, aside from being a media creation, whether we like it or not, Nigeria at present is running a de facto two-party state. Although a de jure multi-party state, by law, Nigeria is a multi-party state. But just like it has happened in, a, in countries like United Kingdom, in countries like um, uh, United States of America, Germany, and other European countries, we now have a dominant two-party state. And that is why uh, these are the parties. Look at the last presidential election. The two candidates of PDP and APC, actually, uh, between them, uh, had over 28 million votes out of 29 million votes. And there were 73 candidates in that contest. So the remaining 71 candidates actually scored less than 1 million votes. <laughs> that is to tell you that we do only have a two-party state in Nigeria. That's unfortunate to uh, hear, but I'm afraid as the much time will uh, permit us, thank you very much uh, for uh, your thoughts on the news. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Do enjoy your weekend. You too. You too.